Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another episode here on our single player world. Oh man, there are some withers there. Okay, so what I- let me explain to you the situation we are currently in. I decided it would probably be a good idea for me to go exploring a few of these cave- these, uh, nether fortresses. And this one's actually relatively close to the spawn, well the, uh, nether portal that we've built. But, it's actually a pretty good bow. But, what I did is, I had that looting sword, remember that looting sword, that was a that was an awesome looting sword. And uh, I may or may not have dropped it, while I was going to get infinity to put onto this bow. So, we win some, we lose some, and I, I know exactly where I dropped it, I thought about it later, I'm like, you know what? I did actually drop an item, I thought I didn't drop an item, but then I realized I dropped it in the ocean, so... Uh, we can definitely say goodbye to that looting sword, that's for certain. And now, what I want to quickly update you guys on is, we've got a big, big episode, this is an absolutely... Humongous episode that I'm going to attempt today, but you know what? I am I am really really having a good time on this series. I'm actually absolutely loving this series, guys. Uh, by the way, we have hit two major major milestones for us in the past day, being the, today the the day that this episode's released. Why is it light? Oh, that's why there's light here. Uh, we've hit twenty thousand subscribers on YouTube. Now that is an awesome awesome milestone for us, and we've hit it reasonably quick considering how quick this last little bit has gone. So. All I can do is thank you guys for the tremendous support that we've had on this series. That is absolutely in incredible. The next thing that I want to say is we've also hit 1,000 followers on Twitch, which is also absolutely crazy for us. Because one week ago, we were practically half of where we are right now. So, almost doubled our Twitch followers in a week, which is absolutely awesome, guys. So... Thank you again for that. This has been a really, really great week, and I'm, I'm loving the series, and it's all due to this series. Let me tell you that, guys. All due to this series and everybody having a good time in it, and I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's really, really awesome feelings. So, today, I'm going to knock out a big episode. Let me tell you this. This episode, I'm going to be building, I'm going to be adventuring, I'm going to be doing a little bit of redstone, maybe. <laughs> I've already done some. And I'm also going to be doing a bunch of other things that maybe we all will hit along the hit along the side here. So I'm going to carry on doing this because I need to get a few more levels. Because you can see I've got level 26 right now. So I'm going to get up to level 30 or maybe 33. Depends on how well we do. And I'm going to want to get an enchantment on a on a uh, new sword, which I'll I've actually got two diamonds that we've just found there now. And I also need to get myself an enchanted silk touch pick because. That is the best pick. If you're a builder, you can't go wrong with the Silk Touch pick. That is what you need. You can pick up glass. You can most importantly pick up stone. And that's what we want it for. So let's get rid of that guy. This, you know what? Can I just add? Power 2 is an insanely good strength. So power 4 is absolutely ridiculous. Like power 2 is a ridiculously overpowered bow. I'm actually really, really pleasantly surprised with that. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to head on, as I say, finish up this bit of... Who, who's... They're not shooting at me, are they? Yeah, I'm going to finish up this bit of nether fortressing that I've been doing. And then we're going to go for some enchantments. And I think what we're going to do is when we get back, I'm going to go ahead and start off with one new building to add to our base. But, of course, if there's nothing else too exciting, if there's something exciting here, I'll bring you back. Two trips to the nether, and I think we've got enough levels. Look at that, 36 levels. And a bunch of nether quartz. I've even got more back in the base. I haven't gone back to the base after the second trip yet. So, what I want to quickly show you guys is in this stream, the the uh, milestone stream we can call it, I did some work over here, and we built a wizard tower where our enchanting table is. And I know you kind of caught a glimpse of it, but let me just quickly, before I turn this corner, a lot of people are going to be split on this, and I understand that, but you know what? It's all about learning better building styles, and we're going to be trying out so many things. So let me know your feedback. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. I, I had split split opinions in the stream. I'm probably going to have split opinions now. But I think it's got many aspects that I like, but I know it's the purple roof, which is going to throw a lot of people off, and who knows what else. But I think this is looking fantastic. In my opinion, it's looking pretty good. Something different, something I have never built like before, and I think it turned out better than I could have could have imagined. So we've tried this little bit of a, a swoopy wizard hat roof, and I know maybe it, it could have been pulled off perhaps a little bit better, and I know it works a lot better on a larger scale, so I won't discount this over here. But maybe it's the concrete block. I think it is a very plain block, and I would love it to have a bit more texture, but of course we don't have that. But tell me what you think. I think it's kind of cool. And also, one thing I love is just this this little bit of detail is coming through here. Look at it. It looks very, I, I, I would say ornate, and it's coming through very, very well. Just a lot of a lot of struggle went into this tower, and I think it turned out 
great considering. Look at that. Look at that. Just just some other stuff. And back to the story about this. I'm thinking to get... Because remember I said... I don't know if you guys know, but I wanted to have this as if someone was living in here. And of course we can't have it with the size it is. But we could have a little secret entrance to a, a little hole down the bottom which someone could live in. So we could do stuff there. But this is what I really like is having this open area here. And I've got to still add in some more stuff around here and finish off the top. But I think it's looking... Really, really good, guys. So, please let me know what you think. Please, please, please let me know what you think. Now, I want to check out some enchantments we could potentially get. Death Strider 3. Really cool, but we've got a book like that. And we've also got this on our boots already. We also have a Respiration there, which is the other one I would try. So, going for Unbreaking 3. Not interested in that. Unbreaking 3. Not interested in that. Unbreaking 3. Not interested in that. But what do we have here? Smite 4. I'll take that any day. Okay. Smite 4 is a good enchantment, but did we get looting? Ooh, okay, uh, Fire Aspect, Looting, Smite 4, the Knockback, I don't think I like that Knockback on it, the Fire Aspect as well, but the Knockback's the one that really breaks it for me, I should have checked the Diamond Pickaxe, oh wait, we did, that was Unbreaking, wasn't it, and another Unbreaking, what else is on this, Protection, ooh, three, not very good, that was the same one, same one, ooh, okay, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go take a risk, and we're gonna go for that there, please have Silk Touch, just Unbreaking 3, very, very unlucky, alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the base. I want to make myself another diamond pickaxe because I want to give this one more try. Let's just check what we've got on these. We've got Depth Strider again. Man, we've got so many Depth Strider boot. Like, that is crazy. That was crazy. Aqua Affinity. Now, that's our go-to if we can't get anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go try out and get a Silk Touch pick. And if all else fails, we'll just give up and try something else. Let's us not talk about those. <laughs> that was another Unbreaking 3 enchantment, which I'm sure will probably come in handy one day, but currently, uh, we're not really too interested in it. So, what you might be wondering, and what am I doing right now? What is going on here? What is a Jency building down on this side of the... Well, I was gonna say island, but I mean, it's, it's, it's a mainland. It's a pretty main part of... Like, I mean, this is a pretty big continent, I guess, in terms of what we're building on. But what am I building? Well, that is a good question. I am busy building a fishing house on the on the water right here. So you can see, going in here, we've got this fishing house starting here. This is going to be the docks, which I actually wanted to raise up a bit higher than I normally did. And uh, what I might even do is even raise them up a little bit more. I want to see if that plays out all right. If it doesn't, I can always drop it down. You know, that's one thing I've learned. You never have to, never be scared about trying something out. You can always absolutely fail at a build and uh, hope, for that, hope that you find something cool in the end. And I actually didn't say that, I've found that out many, many times, that I actually find something interesting even when I mess up a build. So, it's always worth a try. Now, what I'm trying out here, one thing which could be a bit of a mess up, which I think could be a cool little detail as well, and I feel like it works a little bit better with oak logs, is this over here. Putting in the jungle wood at the bottom here, because if you have a look at the jungle wood, it's got this green, mossy color to it, you know what I mean? That looks really, really cool. However, the issue with jungle wood is that the these lines here, which I'm actually pretty sure they're the same lines as on these and all these, like, I mean, the same same pattern of lines, like, there's a little two forked, like, one prong shorter, and there's one there as well, like, pretty, pretty sure that these are all related to each other in some weird way. So, I, uh, I think that that's the only real thing, and also the dark oak, but I want to just try it out as if the, the wood is rot rotting down in the water like that. I think that could look pretty damn cool. Now, one thing I want to check out is going back here, how's the stock looking? Is this a uh, long enough? Yep, that's beautiful. That is exactly how long we want this dock to be. Not too far out in the water. We want this to be just where the fisherman parks his boat and uh, does some fishing. So that's that's exactly what we want here. So we'll go out probably this far and that there and a little bit more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this one up to the land or maybe even not. Maybe I might even put some steps going up from the beach onto that there. I think that could be really, really cool. And, uh, we're one short. <laughs> one short, of course. Actually, actually, we not might not be too bad, because, uh, no, we, we will, we will. I was gonna say, we might actually put the support in there, but that's not gonna be the case. Alright, so, why is this build super cool? Let's get into it. So, this is our fishing hut, you can call it. The fisherman's hut. And this guy over here, also, is gonna be the secret nether portal entrance. Because, of course, we need nether portals. We've got a massive world. We're going to be going out thousands of blocks in that direction, that direction, and that direction there eventually. In fact, even that, well, that way. And for us to travel around this world, we want the world to look pretty on the outside. But we're also going to be wanting to get around very, very quickly. And that's where our nether transportation system is going to come into place. So, today we're not going to be building a nether transportation system. Today what we're going to be building is a nether portal that is hidden with a bit of redstone and a, a pretty, pretty house on it, I'm hoping. So that's the plan, at least. 
And what I'm planning on doing is actually having the the whole nether portal in a cave underneath this little little mound I've built here. This is actually a custom mound. I uh, I don't I'm pretty sure I told you guys that a bit earlier. So well, in another episode. But it's got this this huge huge cavity in it. Look at this. Look at this. This over here is opportunity, right? So many people might think, well, you know, I I don't I can't see a cave being too exciting in Minecraft, and I feel like it's. It's one of those places that many people write off as something you can't do something with, which I think is a pity because caves are actually really, really cool. And making your own cave sounds kind of weird, but it's actually really, really rewarding. So I hope that I can convince someone who thinks the cave build might be a bit of a silly build, that it's actually not a silly build. And I also hope that this turns out half as good as I think it will, because I think it's going to be a quite an interesting build. It's a very small house, but this house isn't going to be completely. It's going to be, it's going to be... A small bed, one bed in here, a little bit of stuff in here, decorated, just a little bit. But most importantly, it's going to house the nether pool, as I say, and we're going to have to work out a way of hiding that under here. And that's where the real work comes in this episode, is working out the redstone behind this. But don't worry, guys, if you're not into redstone, that's cool, man. That's cool. I understand a lot of people here are here for building and having a good time and that sort of stuff. That's fine. What we are going to be doing is we're going to be trying to explain this. If you want to copy it, you'll be able to see it. Uh, but if you don't want to, it's not a big problem. It's not going to be a huge part of the episode because, of course, redstone can sometimes be a bit monotonous. And I'll, I'll kind of just show you what's going on, give you a brief explanation, and uh, then you guys will sort of know what's going on here. So what I'm going to do now is, of course, I have run out of resources, but I think I've got a lot more, a lot more spruce. In fact, I've been cutting down trees for a long, long time, and I've, I've got a bit more in here. I've got some lying out on the other side. We're starting to get to that stage in this world now where our chests are spread out. Actually, you know what? We're not looking too hot on that spruce wood like I thought we did. Man, got uh, got only a little bit left, but that's not a problem. As I say, I've got some other stuff lying around here. Somewhere, somewhere. And also, by the way, had to go had to go do some slime ball hunting in a swamp biome to get those. Very, very in need of a uh, of a slime spawner. So maybe we'll get one of those sorted out in the future. Yeah, that's going to work pretty well. I'm going to have to sort out the roofs and stuff, like the roof for that. But I think that's going to work out very, very well. All right, coming along now, I think. And uh, I, I'm not too, I'm not too sold on what we've done here, but I'm, I'm willing to let it slide for a little bit and try and work a bit more on this house a bit later. What I am interested in is the redstone that I've put in here, which is a little bit more complicated than I expected. So I'm not going to show you guys everything. Uh, but if you guys do want to check it out, in fact, I've got a, a world download for my other world, which has got the sim, but in another few episodes, at uh, 20 episodes actually on this series, we will be doing a world download. So if you guys are interested in getting the world, you guys can check out, you can check out the crazy diamond spawn that was down that way. You can check out the redstone that we're doing. In fact, this village will probably look very, very different by the time that happens. Uh, but what we are what we are still going to be doing today is going down here, which is where the nether portal is going to be. And I don't know if I've introduced you guys to this guy, but... We've got ourselves a zombie villager trapped here. This could be a cartographer, could be a librarian. I'm hoping it's the mending librarian that we need when we eventually heal that guy. So what I've done here is I've used what I've used before is as a uh, villager elevator. So this is something I use to pop villagers out of the ground. Villagers would pop up and quickly go back. Uh, the floor would retract and you wouldn't even see that the villager popped up. It would just appear out of nowhere. And I'm actually just going to quickly do this. Let me just do that there. Perfect. All right, and make sure nothing blows us up. Wonderful. So what I've got here is I've got a tripwire with a bit of a mechanism under there, which I, I was going to show you guys, but pretty much all it does is it shoots us up off of this piston and opens this up at the right time and closes us up at the right time to keep us at the top. So let's just say we came out of the nether portal. We walk in out this way. We walk up to this wall. Bam. Done. Hidden. You never know anything happened. That's the plan. In fact, I'm going to put this on this side here. So it's a very, very simple thing. Uh, oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make a long... I was hoping this was going to be one of these. Good. I'm starting to get used to this painting thing. All right, so very simple. We can get in and out of here very, very easily. That Well, we can get out of here. The in part is the issue. The in part is what I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking this will be kind of cool as well for a little bit of lore into this world. So let's, let's just start here. This is very simple stuff. Very easy stuff. Nothing too excessive I guess uh, but with this village being right next to the, the ocean and all this we need some fresh water in here and I'm thinking what would be kind of cool is an underground freshwater lake in here just a little pond with a well up the top here so basically your way of getting back to the nether portal is falling into a well walking out this way we're gonna have the nether portal in pretty much over here 
you're going to walk down. There's going to be an underground water pond thing. You're going to have a little bridge maybe going out across it. And then you're going to have the water nether portal in the middle. Walk out here. Bam. Get out pretty simply. And we also get have a way going in pretty simply. So we've got two kind of cool things to build. What I want to do now is I want to put in the nether portal. And I also want to put in the cave system. It's not going to be a huge cave, but it's not going to be a small cave. It's just going to be, well, I mean, it's fairly small in cave, cave stand, standards. Let me tell you that. But it's not going to be tiny. So I'm going to get some of this stuff. And let's quickly pop that in. And I know I've opened this place up a few times. We'll just go in over here now. Of course. All right. So let's quickly work this out. If we want to have a well, which will probably be around here. Let's, let's just say we're doing the well over here. It's a pretty good place to put it. And I can hear that zombie villager right over there. Soon enough, we'll fix him up. Soon enough. So you come down here. The well will be in this way. We'll have a bit of water flowing around here. Uh, maybe we can just plan out the lake. The little pond. Pond going in around here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to put the portal in on this side here. Hide it back this way. Okay, cool. So what I like to do, if you guys don't know about our previous series, I like to hide portals. I don't like portals showing. So we can actually sneaky make this portal over here and there. Perfect. Make it a little bit bigger. I like the, I like the odd numbered portals. And what we are going to do is we're going to make this portal somewhat hidden in this as if it's part of the land. So right now you can see we've got this portal here. I've got to light it up. And what I'm going to do is I do things like, let me actually, let me just demonstrate what I'm going to be doing here. And, and you, you'll see soon enough because I'm going to finish it off now. But I do things like this over here. So a bit of, a bit of slabs, a bit of stairs. Take that one back. There we go. So I'll do things like this here where I end up like covering it off. We'll do this here, a bit of those, a bit of these here. So it really makes it look like it's a portal that's hidden behind many things. And it's actually built into the rock. So here we will do that. Maybe, maybe a little bit of a little bit of that under there. We'll have to work some andesite blocks in here. But there we go. You can see what I mean. Very simple portal. Once we have this wall in here, and I think I might just do this, by the way. Yeah, once we have this cave wall in here with the ceiling, I think it's going to work really, really well. Now what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to dig out a little bit of a hole. Let's go probably that deep, and then we'll add in the the dirt. And then as you come down here, walk around here. Yep, this is going to work perfectly, all right? So I think this is good. We've got a reason for the lake being here. As I say, story is key for this village and this world, in fact. So I want the lake where people get their water, but also it's our functional spot to get in and out of here. I also want to decorate this dock. And what I'm thinking is actually, can I, I, I might just fail at this, but I'm going to give this a try. Is this the way you make note blocks? Is that, am I going crazy? No, it isn't. I, uh, I'm completely correct. All right, so I was thinking putting a few note blocks around here, and I know it seems kind of weird, a note block hanging off the edge. Uh, but my thought is, and the, the reason for it is, that note blocks look very much like... Okay, I thought that was going to touch a bit, a bit lower there, but that's cool. Uh, note blocks, to me at least, look very much like a lobster cage. You know, the cages that lobsters, they fish lobsters... Ooh, there we go. That lobsters get fished out of the sea with, or I, I don't know what you would call it, caught out of the sea? Uh, what I was thinking is maybe that'll look kind of cool. In fact, how does it look underwater? And oh, another thing. Another thing before I quickly cut away and uh, do a bit more stuff is, okay, that's actually looking all right. I think that looks a bit more like a lobster thing. I'm going to I'm gonna dangle them a bit more off the edge. But look at that. I've got these jungle planks, jungle logs to face up this way. And I'm sure you can see the way I've done it with these on the sides here to hide them a little bit, which I think works a lot better than it did before. Just something, just something a little bit extra. You know what I mean? And what I'm going to have to do this, I'm going to have to put in another one of these hanging off this edge. And I want to actually put one a bit further down. That could be kind of cool. So I'll get going. I've got a bunch of work to do with this cave, with this stuff. And I think we're going to have a pretty good looking place once we're done with it. So it's starting to look a little bit more finished, this cave. Of course, we just started off with nothing. And now it's gone ahead and come into this. So my trick to this is I kind of just made a little shape. Slowly started adding in a few little bits and pieces like cobblestone walls few little stairs, stuff like that. Just getting this place all textured up, you know what I mean? Just making it look a little bit more crazy. And I think it's turned out really, really well. Right now, it actually is a nighttime. You can see up there. So we've got it a little bit darker than it is during the day. But have a look at this. This is a little trick I love, and I feel like it works really, really well. You see how you can't actually see any light source? It looks like this bush is actually glowing. Look at that. Looks like the light's coming from these bushes. But it's actually coming from a torch way back there. Way, way, way back, but you can't actually see it because I've put enough bush in the way to make it look a bit more, a bit more hidden, you know what I mean? Like, look at that, just lighting coming from 
a spot you can't find it. You can't see it. You, you see? So just little things like that. I think make this place work a little bit better and I've also dropped in a few vines around the place and I actually just remembered let me let me grab some of these out I've put some of these in my inventory and I never used them so we'll maybe pop a uh, mushroom in here and there maybe one in over here that's not a mushroom and in fact maybe that's maybe that's telling me it just can't place there there we go that's a good one and we'll do a few brown mushrooms as well because I feel like they're actually probably the better mushroom to put in these spots so can we do one there and maybe one more just in over there. Good. Beauty. They add in such awesome light as well. Look at that. Just a light change in the light there. So what happens is, imagine we have the well up here. You fall down, bam, into the well. You can walk straight up here. There's a little half slab even. Or you could go through the water, whatever pleases you. But I feel like that's the better way. Or if you alternatively went into the portal, you could go in the portal, come out of the portal, walk around this way. Actually, I just realized I haven't done this roof. You go up this way, nice and easy, into here. Carry on as if nothing happened. I'm gonna put a pressure plate on that side there. Okay, we got monsters. Um, let me check. Can I actually do it now? I could probably just throw a few things away and do a pressure plate here. Ah, oh, let me get rid of those. There we go. Perfect. All right, I think this could actually be just a, a very simple thing to do. Let me get rid of those. Good. All right. So, bam. Walk out. Door closes. Nice and simple. And now you've got access to the entire village. And actually, we've been having... Um, a few times we've had a lot of mobs spawn out of nowhere. Look at this. Now I'm about to get destroyed by mobs, but... Okay, they, they're getting... Okay, cool. Cool, I'm, I'm down with that. I'm happy for that. <laughs> uh, so, what has happened is because we don't have many mobs around the place, we have a little bit of an issue with mobs spawning. Whenever they spawn, they spawn like crazy. Crazy, crazy. In fact, you should have a look at some of the islands. Sometimes it gets pretty nuts. So what I'm going to do now is I want to finish off that well. To finish off the episode once and for all, we can have a beautiful looking little system that is set up there, which is something I actually haven't, uh, I, I didn't think it was going to be this much. But as I said, I'm going to pull out a big one, guys. I pulled out a big one. It might not be a huge physically big thing, but it, it's a lot of work there. Now, I want to quickly show you something that's in the work. Don't don't uh, worry about this dirty, dirty stuff here. I'm going to fix up these walls. It's just a hidden thing down here to sort out our food problem. We've got an automatic chicken cooker. So we've got the chickens up the top, just your basic one. But I've put in this little e extra mechanism back here. Uh, ignore it, don't worry too much about it. But basically what it does is it lets this lava spew out quickly and come back so that we don't burn the chickens if they do eventually drop their stuff up there. Look at that. You see? Very, very quick. Works very well for us. So that's why we've got that there. And I actually realized I've got some extra things. Lily pads. Actually, you know, we, we should put some lily pads in underneath where we've got our... Our little cave there. That's actually not a bad idea. So we can walk on the water and it actually adds something else to it. So what I'm going to do now is... Oh, yep, that's not a good idea. That's never a good time. Of course, there would be one right outside our door. Like, how does that happen? <laughs> how does that happen? Uh, I think I can take him out. Not attacking me. Good. Always good. Oh, come on. One hit. Let's check. I reckon he's right over here. Oh. Okay, that is worrying. Why did they just wander off? Yeah, there we go. Dealt with that problem. So, how about we build this world together? I have come up with a little bit of a plan to make it look a little bit rounder with this cobblestone over here. So, we're using cobblestone blocks and a bit of a wall. And I think it looks alright from a distance. But we're definitely going to do a lot of work around on the terrain here, which will probably just hide it. From looking a little bit too bulky as it is right now, but it's, it's right. It's not a problem So what I'm thinking of doing is I would really wish we could put stairs in here, but that can't work However, what I'm thinking of doing is going up. Can I? I think I can do this right there we go going up here and Maybe just adding in something just to make it a bit more interesting if if I'm, I'm planning on getting in from this side So maybe what we can do is we can do something like that and uh Yeah, like that that actually that actually looks kind of cool with one off. Yeah, so not everything's the same. That's actually good. That's not a bad thing. Then I guess we could try a roof. And I'm pretty sure I've, I've done a roof like this before. But I'm not too sure how I did it. So I'm more than expecting to mess this one up. So let's try this out. There. And maybe something like this over here, I'm thinking. Just to get a little bit of a roof on this thing. I don't think it'll be too crazy. There we go. And this tree is getting in the way over here on this side. So there's a tr there's a bit there. And now let's get a roof finished. So I'm thinking... 
How does that look? That actually, that could actually work. Pulling this out of thin air. That, you know what? We need to change those over to a different color. That's what we have to do. Maybe some dark oak. I think that could be kind of good. Uh, oh, actually, that is a mistake, but that is also a good idea. So, these, uh, these stairs are literally just going into place without me placing them. This is insane. All right, there, and... Uh, last one. Come on. Uh, oh, actually, uh, how does this work? Does this work like that, that, and that? Perfect. All right. So the last thing, as I say, I want to do is add in those extra dark oak pieces. Uh, that's the spot I'm missing. Let's go grab them out. It shouldn't be too much. I think I've got some dark oak. You know, we don't. We know we have dark oak in here. I'm not going to even waste time. I'm going to go straight to here. I think I've got some in the chest over there, but that's not a problem. So we'll add in some dark oak here. Where is it? Let's grab that out. Actually, a lot more than I expected. So we'll go like that. Pop them in there. And... There. Wonderful. And I'm pretty sure this should be done after this. New recipes unlocked. Ooh, what recipe do I have with this in my hand? I don't I don't think you can make anything with a fence. That's interesting. Maybe I just misunderstand the way those recipe things work. So we'll do that. Yep, yeah, that's definitely a better color there. Definitely a better color there. So in this area, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few more trees in here. More of these custom spruce trees. And I actually got a question on... Oh, straight away, straight away. So this is one thing we're going to have to keep an eye on until we fix up the mob problem here. Is rogue skeletons, and they cool, they cool. I'm happy with the rogue skeleton. It's the rogue creepers. Those are the ones that we don't want. The creepers just popping in down there to destroy all of our fun. Uh, we got to keep an eye out for that. And by the way, I've got to fix up that, but I think that lobster, that lobster thing works pretty well in my opinion. But I want to hear your guys' opinion. Does it work? Am I going absolutely crazy? Or is that something that actually... Actually ended up working. Random little things. Random things like that will help out so much. They uh, work really, really well. So, look at that. Simple well. Very, very simple. But I think it's obvious that that's a well. And I'm going to have a little path going up to it as well. So, it's just going to finish it off quite alright, I think. So, sun's going down, which is a beautiful time to end this episode, guys. So, thank you so, so much for the absolutely crazy support, guys. It, as I say, has been awesome getting two milestones in one day. And it's really, really cool just to share it with all of you guys. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.